welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Tammy Bashore. I am an adventure obsessed outdoors woman who has two German short hairs and I am here to teach you tips and tricks to enjoy the outdoors as well as learning to thrive as the owner of a German short haired pointer. So today I want to focus on talking about dog toys. Dog toys are something that, is, that are very important. It keeps the dogs from chewing on your things and giving them something else to redirect their energy onto. Um, you may hear my dogs in the background because they get very excited and I have a lot of their toys up here on the counter so they're gonna probably try to get them. Anyways, the first one that I wanna talk about is Kong Extreme. Kong Extreme Air are the black toys. There's the red ones, which are the standard Kong toys, and then you, they have the black ones. These are the extreme ones that are for extreme chewers, which German short hairs are known to be. So these have holes on the ends. You can put treats in them if you want to. <laughs> Here he is, he really likes this one. <laughs> but you can put treats in there if you want to. I never do. I don't know, my poor dogs. I guess they just don't get enough treats. I just said treats, so now they're staring at me. So anyways, Kong Extreme, these are about $13. You can buy them at Chewy.com if you are a Chewy member, um, but you can get them most at any pet store as well. They're pretty common. So 13 bucks, not too bad. Lasts a long time. I've probably had this one, I don't know, gosh, at least three to four years. I don't remember when I bought it, but long time ago, obviously. The next one I wanna show you is by Go Nuts, and this is the Pro Ring 50, or Pro 50 Ring, I think it's called. Um, these are very heavy, so it's almost six pounds, which I think is kind of heavy for a dog toy. Um, so they're not really for little puppies, they're more for the bigger ones. This is Berkeley. Say hi to Berkeley. He wants his toy. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> so this is known to be indestructible. Now they'll say that no toy is indestructible, but I've had this one for probably four years, and you can barely even see tooth marks in it. So what I like about this one is if you ever see red, red is the core, and that basically tells you you need a new toy. Um, so I like that it kind of gives you that signal that, hey, this one is one that your dog has gotten into, you probably need to replace, but we've had it for a long time, probably close to four years now as well, and we've had no problems. Boys, boys, that's enough. The life of a German short-haired mom. Okay, so go nuts. This one is a little bit more spendy at about $30 a pop. So it is a quite a bit more, but to me, I've bought so many cheap toys that I've had to replace that I don't even mind having to spend 30 on that one. Okay, you take it, buddy. Okay, and lastly is one that I came upon by accident. So I went to our, one of our local dog boutiques and I told them I had an extreme chewer and they pointed me towards this green egg toy and they promised me that it was great for extreme chewers, that it worked for their dog. I don't know what kind of dog they had, but clearly it was not a GSP. I got it home, they had it in pieces within 45 minutes. So I contacted the actual company that made the toy and I sent them pictures and explained my story and they were so great and they sent me this toy. So the company is called Soda Pup, S-O-D-A-P-U-P, -P, Soda Pup, and this toy is called the Double Trouble. You can see there's a hole. You can put treats inside of this as well. Again, I never do. My poor pups are not that spoiled, I guess. But this one has been great. So I've had this one over a year. I think I bought it two years ago. I feel like 2020 is kind of a blur and I don't really remember what I did, but I'm pretty sure this is a couple years old now. But we liked it so much that we actually bought a second because they fight over these. So these are by Soda Pup called Double Trouble. They're only about 14 bucks, not very much. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them on Soda Pup's website. Chewy does have some Soda Pup toys, not these exact ones, and I don't know how the other ones perform, so I can't say that I recommend those. Um, but these here, the Double Trouble, are definitely worth it. The Kong and the Go Nuts, I think you can both get at Chewy.com. So if you're already getting your dog food there, throw in a few extra toys and grab those instead. Um, now toys are one of those things that we have all over this house. I'm tripping over them. Um, just like if you have kids and you trip over their toys, I trip over dog toys. And so I just believe that if your dog is chewing on something that's yours, I like to hand them a toy instead. So I will take away the shoe, the pillow, whatever it is that your dog likes to chew of yours. And instead I try to redirect them with their toys and I keep them in every single part of the house so that way they are always able to find something that is allowed for them to chew on and they never have to search, which in turn leads them to trouble. If your dogs are anything like mine, they get in a lot of trouble. So three toys, Go Nuts, Pro 50 ring, 
the Kong Extreme or the Soda Pup Double Trouble. Now there's two toys that I do not recommend and I hope that you will avoid at all costs. I made mistakes and got these when I was a new dog owner um, and so I just wanna warn you. So the first one is um, a Nyla Bone. Nyla Bones, you can find them at most any pet stores in town. Um, but what happens is when power chewers chew on them, it scrapes at the material and eventually the material gets sharp pointy parts. And then I found that those pointy edges as my dog continues to chew on them, it pokes their mouth and then their mouth starts to bleed. And so not only is your dog bleeding, but now they're bleeding all over your sofa, your carpet, and then it hurts themselves. So obviously it's just not good all around. So avoid Nyla bones. Yes, they say they're for strong chewers, just don't do it. The other thing I wanna tell you not to get to avoid is rawhide. Rawhide is really hard for dogs to digest. And I made the mistake in the beginning and I would buy them because I thought that that's what you were supposed to get for dogs. Um, the rawhide actually builds up in their stomachs because they can't digest it. Eventually they throw it up, if you're lucky, or they require surgery. Now, thankfully my dogs threw it up and then once I learned never to give it to them again, I stopped. I never had to deal with surgery, thank goodness. My dogs eat enough other things that I don't need to worry about that. So avoid Nyla bones and avoid rawhide and you'll be set. So thank you for watching. Go out, get your dogs some fun toys. Fill your house with these toys, especially if you find yourself frustrated that they're chewing on your things. And hopefully you can divert their attention so that everybody lives happily with their energetic GSPs. Thanks for watching. See ya. Good boy. You want your Benny? Good boy. Oh, now they're going to fight over it. Good boys. How about this one? You want this one?